All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Facebook Live. My name is Rebecca. I'm an educator here at Franklin Park Zoo, and I am here today with our wonderful Debraza Monkey family. So, as you can see, we have a few of our individuals right here, and on exhibit we have, I believe, five individuals total. So we have Mum Kiazi and Dad Kip, who just had a birthday on Monday. He turned nine years old. Mum Kiazi is ten. Then we have Bomani, their eldest son. He is about three years old. We have Jahari, who is about two years old. And then we have our newest wonderful little bundle of joy baby, who I can't see him. Oh, he's up the back. <laughs> oh, she. Sorry.、Uh, and her name is Scout. We recently had a naming auction where we allowed some of our wonderful donors and guests to choose the name of our baby Debraza monkey, and they chose Scout, partially inspired by "To Kill a Mockingbird." <laughs> so we can see Scout here, really close. Checking out those flowers and checking out a wonderful little grass patch that her keepers have set up just down the front here. So we've got some beautiful flower brows here on exhibit, just in time for our wonderful New England spring. <laughs> and Scout taking a flying leap to get all of the best treats. So we often get asked here at Franklin Park Zoo how often our animals get fed. So our Debraza monkeys tend to have forage food available all day. So as you can see all over this exhibit right now, there's a lot of different types of fruits and vegetables and browse for them to eat, and that will be hidden in the hay, hidden on different parts of their exhibit, and scattered all around. So that they can spend their days foraging, just like they would in the wild. We do like to encourage natural behaviours here at the zoo, including family fun time, as you can just see. We had a question come up from Martha asking if they are endangered. That is a great question. So they are not endangered; they are least concern.、Um, but that doesn't mean that they couldn't become endangered at some point. So they live throughout Central Africa,、um, and that area does tend to have a lot of changes, a lot of habitat loss,、um, and a lot of mining that goes on in that area as well. So just because they are not currently endangered does not mean that they could not become that at some point. We're pretty lucky with these guys so far, though. Here at Franklin Park Zoo, they are part of a species survival plan or an SSP,、uh, which is like a breeding program. That we do in association with all of the other AZA accredited zoos. So the Association of Zoos and Aquarium, Zoos and Aquariums, <laughs>、um, do a accreditation process.、Um, about 10% or so of the zoos in the U.S. are accredited through AZA, and us and Stone Zoo are both accredited zoos. And we have a partnership with other AZA zoos in the U.S. and sometimes around the world、um, to have breeding programs. So. We look at the genetics of different individuals, and we decide who is best matched to each other, and who should have babies and who should wait a little while.、And、as you can see, we clearly have had a lot of babies here at Franklin Park Zoo. Ooh. <laughs> so you mentioned that they are not endangered, but what are some of their predators? So their predators are: we have a crowned eagle. That is one of their predators. Leopards,、uh, humans sometimes will also hunt these guys, and chimpanzees. Funnily enough, so a lot of people don't realise that、uh, chimpanzees will actually hunt other animals、um, and hunt monkeys. And while I'm speaking of chimpanzees, it's probably a good time to mention the difference between monkeys and apes, because that is another question that we get a lot here at Franklin Park Zoo and in other zoos as well. So as you can see. Some of our lovely individuals are showing off their beautiful long tails, and that is one of the main differences between monkeys and apes. 
So the great apes are much larger. We are one of the great apes as well. So great apes do not have tails, or well, apes don't have tails for the most part. And we have in the great apes, there are gorillas, bonobos, chimpanzees, orangutans, and us. And the lesser apes, like gibbons, also don't have tails. But monkeys, as you can see here, do have lovely long tails. Um, and sometimes they can be prehensile, so that means they can wrap them around things and sort of use it as almost like an extra hand or to, to hold on a little bit um, to help with their balance. These guys do not have those prehensile tails. They just use them to help them balance when they are jumping around like Scout has been showing today. Absolutely. So here at Franklin Park Zoo and at other zoos <laughs> around the world and in the US, we like to use something called enrichment. So that is a way to enrich their daily lives. So that might be things like toys. It might be different smells or scents that we put in their exhibit. Might be different ways to hide food so that they get a little bit of fun while they're trying to uh, work for their food in puzzle feeders. Um, and it might even be things sometimes with our other animals, we even bring in things like shavings from other animal exhibits so they get a bit of a smell of another animal um, and it's a really exciting time for them. So with our Debraza monkeys, they mostly have some sort of toys and enrichment places, things around their exhibit. Um, they get a lot of fun from foraging for their food. So as we had our grass patch here, it has lots of yummy bugs in it for them. We have some mealworms and some waxworms in there. And they really enjoy sort of going through and picking out those bugs. And we had another question about how long do they typically live? That is a great question. So in the wild, they typically live to around about 20 or so years old. In captivity, they can live up to 30. So in captivity, animals tend to live longer, especially in accredited institutions. And that's because they have all of the food and water that they would ever need. They have all, basically everything that they need, um, including mates, including food, water, enrichment, to keep their minds active. And they also have veterinary care. So we do have a vet hospital here on grounds at Franklin Park Zoo, which means that we have somebody on site all the time if we need to take care of our animals, if anybody ever you know, gets sick or has an injury, just like we might go to the doctor, we can take them to the vet. They also have yearly updates with our veterinary team and they also get immunizations, just like we do. And we covered this a little bit before, but there was another one about what they like to eat. Great question. So, as you can see, they have a lot of plant-based things in their exhibit. So they mostly eat sort of grasses, green things. They can see a lot of lettuce. We have some flowers. They like to eat some types of fruits as well and other vegetables. And then every now and then as a special treat or if they you know, feel like it, they also have some insects and some other forms of protein. But their main diet is those plants so they are considered basically herbivores. Now the males of this species are always going to be a little bit bigger. So that is when the males and the females look different. You can tell them apart just by looking at them. That is something called sexual dimorphism. So humans have sexual dimorphism too. You can tell if somebody is a male or a female, generally by their outward appearance. And you can absolutely tell that in Debraza's monkeys as well, based on size. And roughly, <laughs> roughly how big are members of our family here? So we have a variety of weights on these guys. They go from around about four pounds up to just under 25 pounds. So we weigh our animals here in kilograms, not pounds, <laughs> um, which works for me, but after some quick math in my head, 
That is the approximate weights of these guys. Scout will be a little bit smaller than that though because she is still just a baby. She's about six months old. This is a good question actually. Someone asked um, when they can come see the animals again. But we can remind folks that we are actually open. The tropical forest is open every day. Absolutely. So please, please, please come and see us as much and as often as you would like to. Franklin Park Zoo and Stone Zoo are both open. The Tropical Forest Building is open, so you can come and see this wonderful family here um, whenever you would like to. We do need to make sure that we are booking our tickets online before we come because we do have time ticketing um, just to make sure that everything is safe and that we don't have too many people here all at one time. Um, so please go on our website, which is zoonewengland.org, and you can book your tickets to either Stone Zoo or Franklin Park Zoo on our website. Great. I think we're about out of time. Is there anything else you want to say before we sign off? Uh, just thank you for joining us today, and I hope everybody has a wonderful